So we're in the studios uh, with Daniel Giroux, A Plus Mortgage, and he's got a, a really great uh, topic that he's going to talk about today. And it's 203k mortgages. And I know we spoke about these before on the show, um, but it's such a vast subject. And it's so uh, a lot of people, it's also it's, it's just something that a lot of people don't realize is there for them. And, um, you know, I, I think it's just such a powerful tool to have if you're buying and you can get quite the deal. OK, um, with this. So, Dan, I'm going to let you explain pretty much summarize what a 203k is for our listeners. OK. <clears throat> to break it down a little bit here, there's two different types of 203k. You've got your 203k streamline, mm-hmm. and then you have a full 203k. Please explain. Now, 203k, 203k <laughs> streamline, less than $35,000 worth of improvements. So okay. $35,000, you get into uh, more restrictions. You need a HUD-approved um, consultant to come out. There's fees associated with that. There's a whole chart for fees. I don't even dare to try and guess at what they are <laughs> because you have to put it all into the system and look at it. Uh where the 203K can be a really powerful tool, one, we have a ton of dilapidated houses in Rhode Island. They're everywhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, we see them everywhere. A lot of old houses, but they're beautiful. Well, you know, uh, there are some beautiful homes, but when I say dilapidated, I'm talking about houses that have been sitting there. The boiler's been stolen out of them. The oh. bank sent a contract back. There's boarded up. You know, there's graffiti inside it. There's, you name it, it's in that house. You know, I won't go down how bad some of these houses that we've seen are. True. And yeah. when you walk in them, you go, huh, this will never work. But... If you send a contractor in there and they gutted the entire place and they put up new walls and they Mm -hmm. put new floors in and they put new lights in and they got rid of the the stucco ceiling that's falling down and they got rid of the water damage that's on the floor, you can make this home beautiful. And people go, this house is going to cost $100,000 to fix up. Great. So you're going to pay $60,000 for a house. You're going to put $100,000 worth of improvements into it. You're now going to own a house that's estimated value two thirty, two forty, dollars dollars and you paid one sixty dollars for it. What a bad deal. Yeah, exactly. You know, But a lot of people don't think about this because the stigmatism with reverse mortgages have always been they take forever, there's so much paperwork. Reverse mortgages? I, I'm sorry, reverse. 203Ks. <laughs> I've got reverse on the brain today. Uh, with the 203Ks, I think not only has the mortgage world become afraid of these where it became more of a, a niche product and only certain people did them to the realtors also think badly they avoid of these programs like the they do and when i talk to some of my partners about it the first thing that they do is look at me like i have three heads because two or three k's those are well it's not as difficult as people make no, it sound you just have is. to know you just have to know what you're doing and if you work with a partner that knows what they're doing and they can guide you step by step, yep. it's no different than any other loan that you write. Exactly. It's an FHA loan that allows you to get some extra money. Um, the 203K loan can also be helpful for the sellers. So when somebody's selling their property and if their realtor has con- gone through, and I've, I've seen you do it with your sellers where you tell them, hey, look, this could be an issue, this could be an issue, you're going to mm-hmm. have to fix this, you're going to have to fix that. But like you also said, sometimes investing fifteen, twenty thousand dollars into improving your home is not getting you fifteen or twenty thousand dollars worth of more value. Exactly. So these sellers can't afford to do it. We also run into I constantly get this one. Well, Dan, the roof needs to be replaced and it's gonna be ten thousand dollars. So what my seller is gonna do is they're just gonna write a check to the buyer for ten thousand dollars after we close and I go, The heck they are. Mm-hmm. That's an enticement. That's against the law. You can't give them money outside of the closing to fix something, nor are any of our banks going to lend on a loan that has problems on a house until the problems are fixed. So the seller needs to now go find a contractor to come in, fix these problems, and hopefully invoice them on the HUD for the improvements that were done. It's not a HUD anymore. Now it's a CD. But invoice them on the the closing disclosure, uh, which a lot of contractors aren't going to work for free and hope to get paid later on. So if you know you're selling your home and you have a lot of problems, the 203K can be a powerful tool for you as well. We had talked about dilapidated properties. We had talked about how it's a benefit to the seller. To the Um, community. To the community in general, because if you take some of these houses that need some work, if you take some of these houses that have been foreclosed on, if everybody buying them did a 203K, they could renovate these houses mm-hmm. and they could afford to. And people get into these houses these days and they buy them and, yeah, it passes conventional guidelines or maybe even passes FHA for minimum standards because uh-huh. there's always minimum standards. Um, and then they say, well, I'm going to redo my kitchen and I'm going to redo the siding and I'm going to redo all these things with the house. But what they forget is that those things cost money. Mm-hmm. 
a and, lot of money. And, and I mean, you and I, we're fortunate, but I don't think either of us like want to just throw $30,000 at improvements. There's this other no. bills in life. So I can imagine people that are, you know, they're making enough to survive and they buy their first home. And now all of a sudden you tell them, hey, you need $30,000. And a lot of them are... are convinced that they're going to get a home equity line and they're going to do all the work with the home equity line. But mm. to get a home equity line, you, you need, need equity. equity. <laughs> and to have equity, the house has to be fixed up. And the banks aren't giving you home equity lines based on, well, once you fix the yes, house, it'll be yeah. worth this. Whereas the 203K, it really does. Um, they also have a 203K. It's I, I don't believe they actually call it a 203K. I would have to check on that. But it's the exact same parameters mm -hmm. of a 203K for a refinance. Mm -hmm. So there are people that who have already owned their home, they can get in and they can refinance, and the bank will look at it and say, your house is worth X today. If you do all these improvements on your home, your house will be worth Z, mm -hmm. and we will give you the money to do those improvements because they know that their equity position will be fine at the end of it because you're improving the home. And it works on the same concept of a 203K. So just to to kind of uh, put together everything, like to kind of simplify that all into like one statement, basically mm -hmm. um, for our listeners, basically if you buy a house for $165,000 mm -hmm. and do a streamline 203K, which mm -hmm. is $35,000, yeah. as long as the home will appraise to 200,000 after the necessary repairs are made, you can you can get that 203k for that home. Correct. That that's the beginning stages and I think that's where people have mis misconstrued what a 203k does and why everybody's so afraid of it because you you have to get the contractor to go out there. Yes. The first step is I want to buy this home. Okay, I'm going to enter into a purchase and sales agreement. The next step is contractor immediately. Contractor mm -hmm. out there to say there's going to be $25,000 worth of work, 35,000 and they have to itemize what that work is. Yep. Next step, apply for the loan, appraiser goes out there and the appraiser will look at the contractor's notes mm -hmm. and will say new roof new boiler, new this, and the appraiser will write their report based on if these things were done. Mm -hmm. If this house had a brand new roof, if this house had a brand new kitchen, if this house had brand new landscaping, what do we estimate this house would be worth based on other comparables around it? Sometimes you can put $100,000 worth of work into a home and it's still not worth $100,000. Yeah. It depends where the neighborhood is, where you're buying. So a, a, a smart consumer... Uh, a talented real estate agent is going to be looking for properties that are in affluent neighborhoods mm -hmm. that have fallen victim to foreclosure. Or, or short sale. Or, or short sale or whatever the case may be because sometimes you can have 300000 300000 300000 Man, this house would be worth 300000 yeah. with just a few improvements. Or an estate sale. or somebody Estate that's, sales are huge. Or somebody that's yep. just lived in the home for a long time and it yeah. just needs a lot of updating. Yeah. There's a lot of houses yeah. like that. And they're wonderful houses. Mm -hmm. And they just need somebody to go in and, and redo a lot of things. And, and can that be overwhelming? And can that be time-consuming? Sure, Only if but, you let it. But you know whose problem it is? Not yours. No, the contractors. The contractors. That's exactly. what he gets paid for. It's not overwhelming to him. That's yeah. what he does every day. You know, open heart surgery would be very That's confusing to me. It would yeah. be very overwhelming. <laughs> but there's some doctors that can do it with their eyes closed, I'm sure. Yeah. You know, that's well, what these not, contractors yeah. yeah, hopefully not. They have machines that do it now anyway. They just plug it in. You know, it's like a, it's like <laughs> plug a flight play. It's like a flight plan on a drone. You know, they just tell it what it's supposed to do and they go and do it themselves. <laughs> That's crazy. But um yeah, two oh three K can really benefit um pretty much everybody. Uh, it's it's how you use it. Three and a half percent down. Three and a half percent down on the total amount. So that gets a little confusing, too, sometimes when I'm trying to explain the pre-qualification uh, pre yeah. letter to the realtors. They say, well, this is a $200,000 purchase. He's supposed to be putting down 3.5%. Uh, I say, yeah, but he's got $100,000 worth of improvements. So now the 3.5% is on the total amount, mm -hmm. the entire that amount sense. that's going to be borrowed. Whereas the realtor's commission and the, the way that sheet's going to show, the purchase price is still 200000 So it gets a little confusing because they say, well, wait a second. How is he getting a loan for two hundred and Eighty thousand yeah. dollars if the purchase price is two hundred because of the improvements, and then you put the three and a half percent down. Uh, so there's there's a lot of moving parts to it, but again, I like to simplify everything into step one, step two, step three. Yep. Step one, identify the home. Step two, talk to your realtor about it. Step three, get into a purchase and sales agreement. Step four, get a contractor. Yep. Step five, have your loan applied for. Step six, order appraisal. 
Make sure everything works out. Step seven, follow the advice of your mortgage lender the entire way through and close on your loan. Step eight, move into your new home. Nice. I like Simple step enough. eight. You know, and, and one point I want to make um, real quick here is what is really cool about a 203K is by having a contractor come into the home, you may not even need a home inspection because a lot of home inspectors are contractors. So they, they can check the whole house out for you while they're there mm-hmm. and they'll give you a free estimate. Yeah. So boom, you just saved yourself four or five hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Not so bad. But I would I would always suggest to go with a reputable home inspector. I use Mike Auger with Auger, uh, well, formerly Auger Enterprises, now Patriot Home Inspections, uh, because he has expanded. But this guy, his company is phenomenal. They go in and they do an entire really great uh, report that's all typed up. And uh, it, I'd like to say it's wonderful, but inspection reports are not wonderful. They're kind of scary sometimes. But it's it's got pictures of everything on there. It's fully detailed. A lot of it is for informational purposes, so you can always refer back to it. You know, I was a, thinking as, well. as you're talking about, it, I'm thinking about how neat would it be because we've all seen inspection reports, and that's their job. They're supposed to point out everything that's wrong. Good, so bad, or indifferent. 15, 20 pages, 80. pictures of little, yeah, 80 page reports saying <laughs> all these things. Imagine being able to take that entire report, hand it to your contractor and say, yeah. I want everything done. Yes, and I you want can. everything done. And you can because the bank's going to finance it for you. Yeah. And what an amazing world that would be. Well, you can do that. We live in this world. <laughs> we live in this, this world. particular world that we're describing is available. <laughs> it is. It is. So that's 203K mortgages. And uh, if you have any questions at all about that, Dan, why don't you throw out your phone number to our listeners? 401 603 3646. Let them know you heard it here. Okay. All right. And uh, another point that I I do want to bring up, um, because we have a lot of military that that listen to our show as well. Uh, And and thank you very much. Um, You're welcome. Actually, yeah, you're a veteran too. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, we've got a, a, a very heavy audience in, in Mass and Rhode Island, and, and a lot of them um, you know, are, are, are veterans. And the veteran financing is absolutely amazing. And it's such a wonderful program as well. 100% financing. 100% financing, absolutely. What was um, that number of veterans that take advantage of this? It's so small. It's less than 1%. When we looked at it, it was less than 1%. I think it was it was like 0.086. I'm shooting from the hip here, but I wow, remember it was man. so tiny because I had pointed out that if only 1% of Rhode Island veterans took advantage of their VA, VA financing abilities and did it with Daniel Giroux. Yep. That Daniel Giroux would be retired at the end of the year because there's <laughs> so many veterans and there's so few people that utilize this program that if 1%, if we had 1% market share, but 1% doesn't don't even utilize you, it. It's it's amazing. There's all this free money, not free money. Let me take that back. There's all <laughs> this very inexpensive money yeah. that's out there for these veterans. There's so many programs that are out there and it's not hard for our veterans to do this. All they have to do, get a copy of your DD-214. Anybody that was in the military knows exactly what a DD-214 is. Send us a copy of your DD-214, and we'll tell you what program you're qualified for through the VA. The VA, we can literally plug it in, and it will say, this person's entitled to this, this person's entitled to that. That word, entitled. The world has a sense of entitlement, and these people that are truly entitled— Veterans should be entitled. They are entitled, Veterans, and they're not taking advantage of it. But everybody else in the world, for some reason, their sense of entitlement makes them think that they should get all these free things. Well, they they can forget that. Yeah, these veterans should should be getting these things because they are entitled. They don't have a sense of entitlement. They are entitled. I uh, totally agree. And you know, uh, God bless our veterans. And you know what? Our veterans, um, you guys fight for the American dream, and you keep it alive. You know, and um, you should definitely be taking advantage of that. Stop paying rent. Own something. So the National Association of Realtors did a study, and it showed that the average renter has a net worth of $5,000. The average homeowner has a net worth of $194,000. Why would you not want to be part of that, um, that, that, you know, of having that net worth? That's, that's, and that's on average. You know what I mean? So... Just uh, just think about that when you're paying your landlord your check, um, y- your rent every single month. You know, you could be paying a mortgage. You could be building equity. You could be building um, a future investment, you know. And if you want to learn more about that, you can give me a call. I love working with veterans. You get this. I mean, I, I take veterans to the closing table and they leave with a check in hand, okay? So you're buying a house 100% financing, okay? 
you get a discount from Mike Auger from the, the home inspector. He tosses 50 bucks off the top just for being a veteran because he's a veteran. And uh, so, so yeah, that's your out-of-pocket expense. Then you have your appraisal. So for less than $1,000— They don't come out-of-pocket with the appraisal. Oh, they don't? Not with A-plus mortgage, at least. We take care of all the VA's uh, appraisals up front. Good point. And then we use credits to— uh, Free appraisal. Yeah. For our veterans. Well, it's, it's not free. Okay. We pay for it. Somebody pays for it. Yeah, we yeah, pay yeah, for yeah, it up yeah. front. At the closing, we mm -hmm. have seller concessions. We have lender credits that we'll issue, and then we will take care of the cost. So, so essentially, we do get reimbursed. Yep. But it doesn't cost the borrower anything out of pocket. That's awesome. Yeah. So, you know, 100% financing, it, it, no out of pockets on the appraisal. All you have to pay for is the inspection. Your pest inspection is free as well. And uh, so, wow. So for under 500 bucks, you can get into a house and your deposit, which is normally 500 or a thousand on a VA loan, you get back at closing. You get mm -hmm. that check back. Boom. Go buy a sofa or something yeah. or a TV. It's a lot of benefits out there. And step number one is if you've served in the military, get a copy of DD-214. Call us up. Let's talk about it. You might you might be surprised at what you can get. Absolutely. 401-359-2338. And I'll connect you with the man over here uh, himself. So we have to get going. It's been a great show. We appreciate you uh, listening every week.